What is up everybody? My name is Pete and I play music. So today I have not one, uh, not two, uh, but three brand new guitars. Blimey. One of the cooler parts of my job, whatever kind of job this is, is that sometimes I get sent cool new guitars to play. It's becoming kind of a problem, actually. I know, right? World's smallest violin plays in sympathy. I've just got so many boxes in my flat right now, it's kind of... Kind of bonkers. Anyway, so these ugh, should be the new Harley Benton Amarok models. Let's take a look at Butchers and see what we got. Oh my god, these look so good. So these are the new Amarok models, which are basically Harley Benton's new modern metal range of guitars. Mainly thanks to them for sending these over and sponsoring the video. Small confession to make, this is actually the second time I've unboxed these guitars. I've actually had them a couple of weeks already, but I had to rebox them so that I could unbox them again in the video. Movie magic, I guess. So there are three models in four colors, although I only have three here. I missed out on the wicked slime green color because I was faffing about. You got your regular six string, you got your baritone six string, and you got your seven string. I'll give you three guesses as to which is my favorite. Also, it's very, very rare that I get to play something actually designed by someone I know. This is my mate Hunter. Some of you probably know him as Agufish. We're friends, we chat a lot, and we play Xbox together, and when he's not busy team killing me and betraying me in Halo, he helps design guitars, so I thought I'd Ask him to waffle on a bit about them. Hi guys, my name is Hunter. I run a guitar channel called Agafish. Pete asked me to record a quick segment for his video. I, I don't know, to up his watch time or something, I guess. I'm still not really sure what I'm supposed to be saying here. He's like, why don't you talk about how you're a big part of designing these things? How they've got crazy specs for the price. Like Grover locking tuners, stainless steel frets, lumen lays, neck through construction, EMG pickups. I'm like, Nah, you can do that. So then he's like, mm, maybe you can talk about the finishes. And I'm like, oh yeah, the green one is so sick, isn't it? Turns out this fool has every color besides the best one. You know, Pete, that one took the most convincing to push through. Tone was like, uh, are you sure about this one? And I'm like, trust me, it'll be sick. And it is indeed sick. Pete, I can't believe you didn't get that one. The Andrew Baina, Canada's gent sweetheart, would never have made that mistake. Anyways, uh, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. I'll have the green one on my channel. Just saying, it's called Agafish. Anyways, uh, I guess here's a shot of Pringle licking an Amarok. Listen, we can't all be as organized as the Andrew Boehner. He's legendary. Besides, all his guitars are green. So these are still budget guitars, by the way. How much are these again? Ollie Benton Amarok. So the six string is 435 quid, the baritone is 479 quid, and the seven string is 522 quid. So yeah, with those specs, that's pretty flippin' amazing for the cash. All right, that's enough yapping, let's play some music. These are definitely geared towards modern metal, so let's do just that. No gimmicks, just metal. As usual, tab and backing track are available for this and all my videos on Patreon. Link is in the description if you're interested.
I like these a lot. I've had them for a couple of weeks now and they're growing on me quite a bit. They're not perfect though and there are a few things I would change. The EMG pickups are good quality but they're kind of a little bit darker sounding than I would normally go for. And the strap pins are positioned on the back of the upper horn which means neck dive could be an issue. I haven't actually tried this on a strap yet so let's test a theory. Strap. All right, is this neck heavy? Eh. Sort of. So yeah, if that bothers you, that might be an issue. Also, the scale length on the seven string is 25.5 inches, which is kind of eh. Some people will hate that, but so far, so good for me, at least in standard tuning. Also, I've seen some comments saying that YouTubers get sent special guitars, which are pre-set up and that are somehow better than the regular versions. Yeah, that's nonsense. I absolutely had to set up all three of these guitars myself. The intonation was way off on all of them and the seven string still needs a slight truss rod adjustment. Gotta say though, these are really quite good and a clear step up from Harley Benton. All right, that'll do it. Link to the Amarox is in the description below if you're interested. Apparently the first batch is already sold out, so they're proving quite popular. I think you can pre order for the next batch on the Tomin website though, but there will be more coming, I'm sure. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff if you enjoyed this video. Also consider checking out my Patreon for tabs and extras. Thanks for watching everybody, and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.